Well, today you have me and my BFF Reese, and what we're going to make today is Grammy Peanuts famous apple pie. Now, Grammy Peanuts, my mom, and we would call her Peanut because she was cute and small like a peanut, so. But one of the best things that she made, in my opinion, was her apple pie. Have you tried her apple pie yet? Mm -hmm. No. She just likes to make it. Reese is still working on liking apples, but that's okay. But we still need to learn how to make it, right? In case one day Reese wants to make it for her family. So it's really, really easy, and it's really, really good. And Mommy doesn't cook very often, but when she does, we go all in, right? So basically, you're going to first start off with apples, right? The main ingredients in apple pies. This is about nine apples, and you can use really any kind that you want. What's your favorite kind of apple? Green. The green ones with Granny Smith. So you can use those. Those are a little tart. You can use the gala apples, you can use um, uh, golden or red delicious, but in this house, we're from New Hampshire, we use Macintosh apples. Don't bring any other apple to my house for a pie. I'll kick you out. It's got to be Macintosh in the, app, in the pie. So we use about nine apples total. And nothing fancy. Chop them up the way that you like. Some people dice them up real small, some people slice them. We chunk them, right, because we want to make it easy. So I've already started, I already pretty much chunked all the apples, so you'd have to watch me peeling each apple, chunking them up. But I, I did save one so you can kind of get an idea. So what we do here is we take it and we chunk. Can I do it? You want to try a chunk? Yeah. No. No? No. Do you want to try an apple? No. All right. I already know what it tastes like. Okay. So you just want to chunk them up. And see, this is what was nice. See, when Mommy was little, Grammy... Peanut would have me in the kitchen and she would show me how to make all this stuff so that one day I could teach my kids just like I'm teaching you. So you throw the apple core away, we don't want it. Okay, so then the next thing we're going to do is season this. So we want it to taste like cinnamon, we want it to taste like nutmeg, we want it to be sweet and we want to make it awesome. So my mom's recipe asked for a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg. That ain't cutting the mustard in my house. So what I do, I put quite a bit more. So I actually put in, let's see here, it's a half a tablespoon. I want to stir it. Can I stir it? Yes, you can stir it. One tablespoon. So I'm going to say one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. I usually eyeball it, so that's why I'm counting the tea tablespoons as we go. Ooh, Weird but delicious. Like then nutmeg. Mushroom. What does it look like? It looks, it looks like the, this one. It looks like there's chocolate on top and marshmallows on the bottom. I know. You wish it was chocolate and marshmallows. She loves chocolate. Unfortunately, it's cinnamon and apples. No, it looks right here. It looks like a it does. We have a lot of cinnamon going on. So then the nutmeg. We've got about a half a tablespoon of nutmeg as well. I love nutmeg. Add as much as you like. It's a very strong. Um, Spice, so kind of a little goes a long way, but I like about a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of nutmeg. So we got nutmeg and ground cinnamon. It's pretty much it. A lot of people like to put cloves or allspice. We keep it simple. So then the next thing is some sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! It's okay. You can leave it. That one was empty. empty. So I'm going to give you this for the sugar. Can you sprinkle that in here for me? So that's about an eighth of a cup of sugar. And I know what you're saying, Sarah. It's already sweet enough. Oh no, it's not. It's never sweet enough. And you know what? I'm going to actually have you do another eighth of yes. a cup. So two eighths of a cup. What's that? A quarter cup? I don't know. It's about a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. And then the next ingredient, Reese, I think you might be a little surprised by this one. Where are you going? Oh, thanks. She's getting the spice. So the next ingredient, where I think you might be surprised about, is flour. And, she get down. and do you know why we put flour? Mm -mm. It's to thicken it up because these apples are going to cook down and get real juicy. Yeah. And then, yeah, exactly. Just like the picture on the box. But you know what? We don't want it to be runny. We want it to be kind of thick. So the flour will thicken up the juices while it cooks. You want to sprinkle that all up in there. And I use, I use about an eighth of a cup as well. You don't want to put too much. Then it will be a little too floury. Okay? So then we get our stirring spoon, 
And then Reese, let me just show you real quick what you want to do. You want to kind of fold it all in there. You want to get all the apple chunks covered with everything. Okay. So while you do that, I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh, we've got one that jumped out. Tried to another one. <laughs> you keep knocking over the spices. So don't do that, but you can if you want. If you want to dump stuff on the floor, that's your life. Your house, you can do what you want. So while you do that, I'm going to get the crust going. So really just kind of fold that in there. I can't. Another one. Here, why don't you step down? I can't. There you go. Here, go like this. Let me show you. This is a little tricky. It's kind of awkward, right? And then we'll have Buster barking in the background from time to time. Bet you Rachel Ray doesn't have that happen to her. Yes, her shows. Yeah. Yeah, don't ask. Okay, so you see how they're all pretty much covered? I don't know if you can see that. You want to get every little chunk covered in the stuff, in the goodness. Oop, I did the same thing. Oop, get back in there, get back in there. Oh no! Yeah. All right, that one's gone for good. Buster can eat that one. Once we have the filling done, now we're going to do the crust. Now, come on up. Get on. So now we're going to do the crust part. Now you can make your own crust if you want. There's people out there that make them from scratch. Roll it out. They use that KitchenAid back there that Mommy uses as decoration. They actually use it to make the pie crust. We don't do that here. We like Pillsbury. It's already made, and this is actually what my mom would use. And so that's why I like it, because it tastes exactly like her apple pie. This is the flavor I'm looking for. So we're going to use these. And guess what? It's already rolled up. Keep it simple. Especially at Thanksgiving, because you're going to have enough to cook. You don't need to be wrestling around with pie dough. If you want to do it, though, more power to you. First things first. So you're going to unroll the pie dough, like so. This is going to go inside the pie crust. This is going to be inside the pie pan first, okay? So if you can see that, you just kind of form it in there, shish it up. So this is kind of a deep dish pie pan. I like that because we have tons of apples there. So we want to have as much room as possible. So you see how I'm doing that? Pull it up a little bit because you want to kind of you want it to be up above the um, the pie pan, okay? Okay, voila. And now we dump the goodness into the pie. Do we look professional or what? We look like we know what we're doing. What are you going to do? You going to try it? No, I said I'm going to dump it in. Well, you know, I'll show you an easier way, but go ahead, put some in. Bleh. All right, now we're going to do this. I thought that's what you're going to do. That's exactly what I'm doing. So do you see how it's already juicy? The sugar brings out the juice. Yeah, baby. Then you kind of want to get it all in there evenly, like I so. We do. Oh, and FYI, put your um, stove on, your oven on, 425. That's what you're going to set your oven to. I forgot to mention at the beginning. It's my first cooking show. Probably my last. Okay. So now, Reese, there's more. Where that came from? Let's get this out of the way. You know, with real cooking shows, they got people waiting in the wings to get all this junk out of your way. Alright, so now this is the fun part. You want to put it on top? I'll unroll it. Are you refrigerate this? Oh no. Oh no, we're not refrigerating this. It's going straight in the oven when we're done. Okay. But when we're done, like, Okay, you want to help me? Sure, We're gonna lay it like this. Okay, so you want to unroll the pie dough. Yeah, I'm gonna touch it. Okay, you ready? Help me. Put your hands on it. Then we're gonna lightly, like you're covering up a little baby for bed, to snuggle it in. Yeah. Now we have two options, Reese. We can either crimp the sides or we can pinch the sides close. You want to crimp? And now it's important that we have the under crust here. I'm literally preaching to the choir, and I'm sure most of you that actually can cook are looking at me like, no kidding, obviously that's what you do. But just in case you don't know what you're doing, this is what you want to do. You want to kind of get the under pie stuff here, 
we're gonna kind of bring it all together. Mm. See, I'm really tucking wait, it do in. Do I do this? Like, yep. Wait, do I like smash it? Yep. As soon as I'm done tucking it, you're gonna crimp it, okay? Okay. And then I'll show you another really cool trick to make it extra pretty, so people think we know what we're doing. So yeah, once I'm done, make, I'm gonna make the lines in the middle. Oh, gave away our secret. Ah. Okay, so we, we pinched it up, which you really could just leave it this way if you want, but Reese wants to crimp it, and I think that looks really Are pretty like too. So, this? yep, you're just gonna, well, I'll show you. You just kind of go down like that. You ah, boop, okay, okay, boop. okay, okay, okay. So you're gonna boop it all the way around. I'll turn it while you boop. You make the sound. Oop, don't go too deep there. Okay. Stay on the edge. There you go. That's okay. Use the tip of the fork. I'm shy. You're doing a great job. Stop moving it while I'm doing this. And make your fingers out of the way. Teamwork. You're not booping. Boop. Boop. Oh, you exposed some apple. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I I gotta throw it away now. No, you don't. I know. I can't. That's a waste of apples. Green apples. My favorite apples. If this was all green apples, would you eat it? It is, isn't it? Mostly. There's some. That's another thing, too. You can mix apples if you want to be fancy. You can put some um, Macintosh and throw a couple of green ones in there. If you don't like it too tart, but the green apples add a little bit of a flavor to it. So, so after you're done uh, crimping it, I just like to cut the holes in the top a little bit, put it on a cookie sheet with tin foil, it will bubble over, then put it in your oven for an hour at 425, and it's going to be amazing. Like so. Okay, and after an hour it will be done. And then so happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Reese, for helping me. I love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Mwah.